Alright, final team boss before the end game, the last story. Yay! Huh. Huh. Real evil sure ain't that. That ain't shit. This boss battle can be quite cheap. Though, so, but I've kind of figured it out. I mean, the first time I ever fought this guy again, like after years of not doing it, I was completely fucked. And I couldn't remember how I used to do it. Come on. We're dead. <laughs> we got charged. Nothing I can do there. Oh well, whatever. I'll take it. Uh, love it for knuckles. Oh no, I should have gone for tails there. Oh, we got it. Yeah, main tip, upgrade tails as much as possible. Because he is so helpful. Especially the one that can take the egg cap and the egg emperor on the best way. Although, take out these cannons for you. Because they will fucking piss you off. In fact, would this work? Tails takes out the missile? I didn't know that. What the hell? Why am I in first person here? Ah, yikes. <laughs> Tails is, uh, Knuckles is freaking awesome in this game. That's awesome line. Fuck you, bitch. Find a shoot for the fucking win. Whoa, whoa, can't control it. Move. Whoa. Obviously got robbed there. <laughs> oh my god. Gonna get charged. No, no, no. No, screw it. Suck and take. Goodbye. Suck it. Boom. Hey, for what? What? Tails, hit it. Why is Sonic zipping around? Hey, you don't even have to worry about the cannons. Except that Sonic and Knuckles never return. Suck it. Come on. Bitch. You are dead. Alright. Yeah, you are dead. That easy. But when I first fought him for coming back for this game, I fucking sucked. You're finished, Eggman! <laughs> Knuckles has the like, coolest lines in the game, seriously he does. Freaking awesome. I mean, this is this is the game that kind of defied Knuckles as awesome cool. There's some pretty cool lines in the game. Boy, talk about cutting it close. Eh, not really. Come on, tell me you weren't scared. <laughs> if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have had a chance. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Thanks. Of course buddy. he's right. You too, Tails. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, we're gonna hot tell it out of here. Later guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> no chance. He's gone, Amy, you got no chance.
<laughs> uh, I freaking love it. <clears throat> well, that wasn't so bad. Freaking Egg Fortress, though, and Final Fortress is just a bitch, you know. But yeah, you can understand why this playthrough really isn't in full, to be honest, you know, with all the teams, because basically, after this, you would play the other three teams at exactly the same levels, with Team Darks being longer, Team Roses being shorter, and Team KOX being mission based, with all the slippery controls and all that shit. So. Yeah, there's just no point. It was only, it was, it's only worth doing Team Sonic, which is the normal difficulty anyway, which is what I played playthroughs on, and the last story. So yeah, it was, it was, it was just not worth doing the other three when it's just basically the same game, three times over, just with longer Team Dark, shorter Team Rose, and Mission Team Chaotix. There's just no point. I mean, yeah, I could probably do Team Chaotix, but. The only thing really unique about it is the mission based. It, it is basically the same levels doing kind of uniqueness to just running to the goal line. But yeah, I, I suppose I could have done Chaotix, but nah. It's just the same missions. And a couple of them are like run to the goal line anyway. So. And I'd probably have Team Rose done in pretty much like an hour <laughs> and the chaos emeralds are pretty much the hardest things to get in the game in any sonic game sonic heroes special stages are the hardest just basically because of the controls because the controls are probably some of the worst i've ever experienced in sonic games it's just so slippery half the time <laughs> i would have to say um the themes of the teams are really good uh there is a couple of good really good actually I would say almost the entire soundtrack, once again, is the best thing about a Sonic game. Like, like most of the Sonic games, the entire soundtrack is the best thing about it. And it's just glorified in the final story, which you're going to experience next. So, yeah, but that, Knuckles is right. Without Sonic and Tails, he never really has a chance by himself. Sonic is not a lone wolf, you know? I mean, even in the final story, uh, Tails and Knuckles actually come with him, so, yeah. I do, I do think in this game, I do think Sonic starts to kind of, starts to kind of lean on his friends a little bit. He seems to, like that ending line, that ending cutscene, it kind of proved that Sonic in this game kind of, oh shit. Defeat the last evil, and you know who that is. <laughs> I certainly do. Um, yeah, just one final point. Yeah, the ending cutscene there, I think Sonic at that point, you know, realized how important his friends are to him. You know, because he's, he's never really done, he's done most of the saving of the world by himself. You know, in, in this game in particular, he actually knows and realizes that you can lean on your friends a little bit and have them alongside you to help out. You don't have to do everything by yourself, and uh, this game really proves that. Does it really need anything else to say? No, <laughs> it doesn't. Last is next.